Hello guys and welcome to the Superhero Airport Battle Lego Marvel Super Heroes Lego set. Oh my god, I'm so excited for the set and to show it to you guys. So let's get right to the chase and let's move my tripod over here and you can see that it's rage um ages recommended 8 to 14 and it's 807 pieces with sec 76051 and it comes with eight minifigures well technically one giant figure or brick build and one micro figure here's the front of the box and here is the back of the box as you can see there's quite a few play features in this set so yeah i'm gonna show you all of them and yeah why don't we um get started so to preserve time i already built this for you guys so let me just my tripod here and um let's start off with the mini figs so here we have the winter soldier um, if my camera can focus, he's a pretty cool figure, as you can see. Here's the back. Some nice printing, print work. And then he has another expression, which is a mad face. You can see there. And he has a nice silver arm. And he comes with this gun, which has been used many times in other Lego sets. That same. Here we have Iron Man. Iron Man comes with this um, piece, which makes it look like he's actually blasting something from his palm. And you can actually take this off and open his mask to see his face. Is another face which is a mad one, as you can see. And yeah, so that's Iron Man, and I think he's one of the coolest figures in this set, though. So yeah, let's see. Let's see his rival, Captain America. You can see he has some nice print work here. On the back too he has no other expression because of course he's wearing a mask and now here's his trusty shield if i can get that on there but yeah oops well i'll fix that later but hey there's cap next um we have agent 13. i actually don't know much about her because um, I don't watch that much Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but, um, she's pretty cool, as far as I know. She comes with another face, as you can see there. Like, a smirking face. And then here, she has, like, a, I don't know, normal face, but, yeah. That saying... Let's take a look at Scarlet Witch, the other female in the set. And here, um, Scarlet actually has this cloth, um, I don't know what to call this, cape-like thing, going down from her waist down. And she comes with these little pieces to make it look like she's using her telekinetic powers. And she actually comes with a, another face, too. Which is like a mad face. So, that's pretty nifty. So, yeah. Here is Giant Man. Um, yeah. Now, this guy used a lot of stickers. I can tell you that... This is a sticker, 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 and this and this are stickers. And my, I love this guy. I mean, he's just 
awesome overall. I mean, it's a giant man. Come on, guys. He's a giant minifig. And you can open this hatch to make his mouth open like that. And that's pretty cool. So, yeah. And here's one of the one of the coolest characters in the set War Machine. As you can see, um, he has the same design as Iron Man, aka Tony Stark, except recoding in paint, which is War Machine. And then, <coughs> oops, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, he has a stud shooter here. And this baton, if you flip, if you touch this, then pew, it goes flying. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Also, you can open his masks, and he has two different expressions. I don't know if you can see that, but let me zoom in. Sorry guys, my camera isn't working today. So, yeah. Um, that being said, those are all the mini figures and giant figures. Let me sing, hey, Victor, I think you forgot one of the characters, Ant-Man. Well, actually, no, I didn't, because he's so, he's so small that I actually have to, um, lean in a bit from my chair to show you guys all this nifty character has. Off and that's a poor quality, but right here he's on a one stud tile. And stand him up. He has some nice detailed work on here, though. I think that's pretty nice. Sorry about my camera not focusing, but um, that being said, let's take a look at the set. Alrighty guys, welcome back, and I went ahead and built this thing, so we won't have to waste any time and get right to the chase. As you can see here, we have the Quinjet, which is one of the coolest parts of the set. Let me just put a tripod here to get a better angle. Like that, and yeah. I can't get the whole thing in here, but yeah. So here it is. The thing overall has a very nice structure to it, and as you can see, these wings actually unfold here, and. Actually, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you can make them like dangling from the ground. Or, uh, you can make them like fold it up so if it's like trying to be stored somewhere. Either way, you can have lots of fun with it. I'll just keep it like this for now because that's pretty cool. And then, um, over here, here are like the side wings. You can move these up and down. Um, on a fair basis. Here we have some more side wings. Oops. And yeah. That's pretty cool. And then the cockpit back here opens up. And I actually have a rope in here. I'll get to that in a second. But it can fit two minifigures. And there's a place for here in here. So, yeah. We can fit say the winter soldier right into here let me take his pistol and fit right in here and just lean back and relax so, oops my piece fell off haha <laughs> that's clumsy of me guys Hmm. Yeah, so might have to adjust him, but he fits snugly into there, like so. 
And yeah, so to the back of the newly modified ninja, you see you have a little hatch over here, and if you open this, then oh, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there is actually move it towards the light. And yeah, as you can see here, it's a door that opens up and you're supposed to put the rope here and put um cap right here. And you can like sort of make him hang, put him right here. And then you can make him sort of fly out of here so if you just put them in like that and then you open it and then ooh cat falls out and I think that's a cool feature that Lego added. Oh and step aside from that we also have this feature right here. Um it's actually this knob right here and this actually has to do from the underside of the plane so if I turn this knob you can see that a double stud shooter pops out right there and yeah you can fire these away yeah so it's pretty cool so that was the coin shot and let's move on to the next um, thing I should say here we have the airport ship, I suppose. Um, it's pretty nice. Small build, but um, I'll explain why I put this in, in here in a minute, though. But um, it comes with these suitcases. Um, I don't know where the other one is. Oh, there it is. Let's pop that out. And, yeah, so, you can put the, well, first of all, you can fit a mini fig in here, so let's take Agent 13, pop her right into there, and take these suitcases, put them on to the back, then you're supposed to take 